What's up, Libra? What's going on, guys? And welcome to your mid-month October reading. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your birthday season. A uh, season. I know it is coming to an end, but I hope it was a good one. Okay. All right, guys. So if you didn't watch the bonus reading I did for you guys, it's up, so you can definitely check it out. I went by what you guys had asked for. All right, so let's see what's going on for the mid-month. So this will be from about October 15th to November 15th, okay? All right, so what is the energy around Libra right now? What is happening with my Libras right now? This card wants to jump out. And what was this? We have the page of coins in the reverse. Okay. We have the page of swords. Let's get at least one more card. There we go. It flew. And we have the six of coins in the reverse. So I feel like there's a strong truth that's coming in where either you're verbally saying this or you're just realizing this that there's something that is just not balanced. There's something where, whether it was you or another person or just like a situation that didn't work out, um, someone put you know effort into trying to build something, but it just didn't happen in the way that you know they may have wanted to. So I see someone putting something in the past, just saying, you know, let bygones be bygones and really just standing their ground with that, okay? But maybe you're worried about this. Maybe it's something that, again, you lost faith in. But I do see something strong coming in and a big change that you're going to be working towards. Why is this page of coins in the reverse here? We have the three of coins in the reverse. We have the tower card. We have the ten of coins in the reverse. So this is something that drastically changes things for you guys. Okay. Um, I feel like you're on the fence about... A decision or it's like there's there's something that you can do where you're very stable where you you have you know a solid foundation but I feel a lot of anger with something whether it's coming from you or someone around you okay a big change where you're seeing things clearly you're speaking on it honestly but something just it, it just wasn't you know it wasn't just like you know meshing well We have the Three of Cups reversed, Ace of Coins, okay, Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you, maybe you experienced a third party, okay, in a love situation. Um, maybe there was some sort of depression that a person went through, but Spirit is saying, wait a minute, okay, because, you know, with whatever happened, there's something that's coming in for you where it's going to provide long-term stability, whether that be with money, whether that be with love, um, whether that be with like a solid friendship that comes into your life. But it puts you on a path for something very solid. I just feel like you guys are trying to find balance or trying to find the best way to move past this, okay? Um, it's like, what's, what's the best way to get over this? Okay, because like you want to move away from something, but maybe you're looking for the least problematic way to do it. So it's like maybe you want to leave a job, but you haven't found a new one and you want a new one. So it's like a smooth transition. Um, maybe, God forbid, like you're you're in a relationship that's super toxic and you know you're not going to be just allowed to leave. So it's like you have to plan, how can I get out? What hours are they going to be gone? Okay, and you execute it within that time. But it's something where a person's like, look, I have to plan the timing of this perfectly. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into the past, present, future. Let's see what this is about, Libra. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. It's High Vibrations 44. I am also on Twitter, Blue Hashit. The spelling of all of that is in the description below if you need it. All right. So we need eight more cards here. six more cards all 
right, so we got your first card for the present. Okay. What is this about, Abra? Okay. All right, so the energy we have here is the three of coins. So this is something that we're building. This is something that it's like you're, you're really able to work on something. There's, there's some sort of union here, okay? But then it could get to the point where something that you're building becomes kind of heavy on you, becomes burdensome on you. And you start to realize, like, I'm losing a bit of who I am in all of this. Is this really for me? Is this draining me? Is this really my path? Okay? Because I want balance, and you do find balance. But you make a change in your life. You decide to go towards a new chapter. Okay? But to get to a new chapter, you have to get past the last one. So something's being closed out here. Okay? So let's talk about the past, all right? We have the Chariot, the King of Coins in Reverse, and the Four of Swords, okay? So there's something here where maybe somebody made a physical move or maybe something is just really taking off quickly for you, but something is stuck on someone's mind. Maybe it's money issues. Maybe it's, you know, you not being genuinely invested in something or being, you know, thinking about someone else who is not, in gen you know, genuinely invested in something. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Why is this chariot here? Five of cups in the reverse. And we have the three of cups. So I feel like something happened where it's like it made you feel very strong. You were really celebrating this. You were having a good time with this. If there was anything you were like hurting over, you know, this got you over it. But I feel like it's something that there is a big change, whether it was on your part or someone else's part. And uh, unfortunately, it made things take a whole left turn. OK, when you meant to go right. All right. So what is this about? The devil card in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Coins. For some specifically, you might have had to spend a lot of money to get yourself out of, to, of, a, out of a toxic situation. For others, you realize that there's just something your soul didn't want to be part of. There could have been a lot of fighting and stuff there, whether it's within yourself or with somebody else. Okay. But I feel like whether you had to spend money or whether you had to just get out of something, um, I think that it brought even more money in somehow or it brought some sort of abundance in. So maybe you invested in a business and, you know, you got your investment back. I have the seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, so you were unhappy with something that like just wasn't meant to be in your life. There was some sort of fallout. But you're able to build money and you're able to find balance for some of you specifically maybe you got a divorce and maybe there was like alimony or you know some sort of um, money paid to you i feel like somebody was was drained of their money or something or they just had to give out money for something or pay for something but yeah a lot of money or abundance was involved in this Okay, so what is this Four of Swords about here? Last card for your past. Queen of Coins in the reverse. Yeah, we have our money players here in the reverse. And we have the Hierophant reversed. Somebody came up from something. But there is some sort of fallout or something that... It was just, how do I want to say this? It, it could have came from devastating circumstances, honestly. So it's like maybe, I know I keep using that marriage um, example, but it, it's like someone 
being cheated on, having to get divorced, getting a lot of money out of it, but their heart is still broken. They still got cheated on. Money can't heal a heartbreak. Well, I mean, maybe for me. But something like that, you know? It was something that was unconventional in a sense. Someone can no longer accept something. A secret came out. Maybe there's some sort of betrayal. So you removed yourself from something that was bad judgment. It was something that was burdening. Something where there was a lot of fighting. But you came out well. Something wasn't successful. But you came out well. Or maybe the person that you dealt with came out well. All right. Okay, guys. So present moment. We have the two of swords. Three of wands. And the empress card here. Okay. Okay. Now, it's showing that there's something here that you just can't expand on, and you made the decision. I cannot expand on this. You know, it is what it is. I cannot accept this. All right, the three of wands, that's the center, you know, in the reverse, it's the center of your reading. So that means that there's really something that's just like, I'm not going to expand in this way anymore. But I feel like it's your choice not to. We have the five of swords here. We have the two of coins in the reverse, okay? You know that you have balance without this. You make the decision to, again, drop it. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt or that there's not inner conflict that you're dealing with as this is happening, even though you're more balanced without it. If anything, this is a blessing because there's something on your path that just wasn't meant to be there. All right, so three of wands in the reverse. Again, this is the center card, so all energies, you know, will surround this. We have the world card. It ends, but something magnificent comes in. That new chapter comes in. And we have the king of cups. So this could have to do with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But for a lot of you, I do feel like this is something that um, really puts you in a very tranquil and emotionally, like, positive place. Okay, you feel okay, you feel easy, and you drop something. So it's like you no longer have to worry about this. Okay, so think of like, let's say a, a toxic relationship, whether it's like with a friend, you know, or a lover or whatever. Um, when you finally cut it off, it's like there could be this sense of sadness because it's, it's not there anymore. You had love for this person. But at the end of the day, you're just like, whoa, now there's peace. You know, there's no one calling me 97 times in the middle of the night. There's, you know, no one showing up to my house. Like, it's over. I can breathe. So although there's sadness, there's still that peace. Okay. And let me just turn my notifications off. Do not disturb. All right, guys. But yeah, something was rejected. Something was left out in the cold. It was time for something to end. We have the Justice card. And the Six of Wands in the reverse here. So it was something that was karmic. Again, something that wasn't meant to be successful. And because it wasn't successful, you know, things are going to change around dramatically. Now, do keep in mind, guys, if this is something that involved another person, then the person who has brought on more of the negative karma, like they've done a lot of damage, I feel like that person is going to have to face that and it could be a karmic moment for them. Okay. But if you're in a place where you're really screwed over, this is the universe saying like, look, I saw that. All right. I'm going to trip them with the twig in a second, but hold on. Okay. So it's that sort of energy. And even though there could be some sort of attachment to it still, I just feel like you guys just, you don't want to deal with it anymore. It's like, you know what? I, I know I'm hurting, but fuck you. I'm not calling you. Okay. All right, guys, so for the future, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Star card. All right. There's something that mentally you're still stuck on. You have to get past it. It was something that I feel like it brought out, it, it, for some of you, it really could have brought out the worst in you. We have things that trigger us. We have people that trigger us. And I think that this is something that's able to trigger you. Okay. But I don't think that... It, it benefits you to respond to it. I feel like if you do respond to it, um, people could be like, yo, they're crazy. Okay, or maybe if someone responds to you in a certain way, everyone's like, what are they doing? Okay. 
Why is this Knight of Swords reversed? We have the Eight of Cups. If it gets you to that, just walk away, guys. You're, you're not meant to deal with that energy. All right, so you're just not accepting the chaos. Or it could be that you guys act in a chaotic way. Maybe something, again, triggers you. And now you, you know, something, what was I going to say? Something triggers you and you guys can act and like, you know, you can act without thinking. And it's like, oh, shit. Okay, so make sure that the heat of the moment doesn't make you have to move away from a situation that if you had just taken a moment and just took a breath, you know, you would have reacted better. So make sure that you're thinking before you react, you know, does this thing really deserve that much energy from you? Okay, because anytime a person gets that sort of energy from you, they win. Okay, so be reserved about showing that sort of face. Okay, if someone like killed your cat or dog or something, then go for it. All right, but then let it go. And don't accept whatever made you that way. Okay. Eight of Swords. So what are you guys stuck on? What's making you stagnant? We have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. I think that for a lot of you, this is something that was close to home. Whether it was a lover, family member. It's like, I was really close to this person. And this fucking sucks. And I hate you, but I love you. And I'm still thinking about you. But I'm going to do what's right. And it's over. Because I know that that's the path of least resistance. Because I know that's the path that gets me peace. And a lot of blessings come in when you guys do put yourself first and you choose yourself. Okay? Star card, last card for the future. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Sun card. So it's beautiful because you're going through this transition of letting something go, releasing it even if you don't want to. And with you sticking to that, there's something that comes to light for you. There's something that's revealed to you. There's something that someone tells you or something that you find out that you didn't know. Where out of nowhere, you're not losing sleep at night anymore. And you're like, oh my God, this is everything I wanted. And your life takes a drastic change where you go towards something you really, really desire. For a lot of you, I don't even think this has to do with love. New job, new apartment, new house. Okay. Maybe it's just something you're completing, a project that you're completing. Maybe you're finally going for that career you've always wanted. Maybe you're finally, you know, taking on the path of singing when you didn't think it was possible and things are actually happening. It's like people are hearing you, you know, you're getting a lot of traction. So there's something very strong that comes in and a blessing and you're still going to have the option guys to take the path that you know isn't for you. It's still going to be there, but spirit says to let it go. All right. Spirit has something in store for you guys. You just have to release whatever this is, even if it hurts. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into the advice portion. I'm going to pull three cards to close this out. All right. And guys, if this is resonating with you, there is a link in the description below to donate. Thank you so much for supporting the channel if you do. guys we're close to 200k so thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting me throughout this time definitely share this with friends and family if you know it'll resonate with them all right we have the page of coins in the reverse we have the king of swords We have the Ten of Coins in the reverse, okay? There's something that despite how you're feeling, guys, you know, we keep, you know, saying this throughout this reading. Despite how you feel, you know what you need to do. You have to have a poker face. You have to be strong. You have to take the approach that makes the most sense. You got to be logical about this. This is not something where you want to act on 
what your heart may be feeling, especially if your heart is mourning something, all right? And again, I just feel like there's effort put into this, but nothing came of it. There was, if anything, a lot was lost here, um, or maybe someone had to spend a lot here. We have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Coins, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The worst that could have happened has happened. Okay, you're going to get past this. Um, there's going to be a sense of strong self-sufficiency. If you guys had to invest money in something, that money is definitely coming back strong. Okay? Um, some of you may just be upset that now you have to do something on your own. Or now you just don't have a particular person to, you know, connect with. And I'm sorry for all these cuts, guys. I promise this is a cat and I'm not like, <laughs> I should have mentioned that earlier. But yeah, this is what happens when you give a cat a bath and cat does not like water. So I apologize. All right. But there's definitely something here um, that you will get through. You will get over. If you lost money, you're getting it back. If you felt at a loss for words... You know, your emotions were all over the place. You know, you, you find stability again. But this next chapter, it you know, you can't be codependent or anything. You have to make shit happen on your own. All right? So you know what path you have to take even though you're weighing it out. All right? A lot of happiness is coming in. If there's any sense of loneliness or, you know, rejection or money not being where you need it to be, now it's going to get there. And you have the Ten of Cups in your future. Okay, so this is solid, guys. All right, so Libra, I hope you guys close out your birthday season with a bang. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. If you're not subscribed, please help me get it, uh, to get to 200,000. I love you guys. Take care.